Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to my channel. So every once in a while, I do nail art here on my channel. And well, for this occasion, I'm going to start working with a floss pick. And I'm going to cut the part that, you know, you're supposed to clean your mouth with. And the reason I'm removing this is because I'm going to be working with some thread, black thread, that is. But before that, I'm just going to add some epoxy glue on like those edges in there. And then I'm just going to take my threads and I'm just going to uh, glue it on like the top in there where I just added the glue. The reason I did this and I just uh, didn't stick with the white bit that they came with is because I liked the pattern or the design you get with this one. I'm just going to wait for that to dry and it's pretty much up to you if you want to have like the thread hanging in there or just want to uh, cut the excess but for more stability and security I just went ahead and glued the leftover threads on the sides. I'm going to let this thing dry and set. The next step is going to be painting my nails. I'm going to be using Blackout by Sally Hansen. This is my go-to black. You can choose to use any nail polish color that you like. I just chose black because to me this is really elegant. I'm just going to wait for that to dry. Once that's dry, I'm going to be taking my matte top coat, again by Sally Hansen. I'm just going to apply one coat. I did that review on this one. If you want to check it out, it's on my channel. But before that dries, I'm just going to take my floss pick and I'm just going to make the indentations, kind of like the pattern. You have to work with one nail at a time because you don't want your matte top coat to dry before you get to make the sign. I tried this with just doing all my nails like adding the top coat and then just going with this one and i didn't have a successful result it looked kind of like odd it's a really soft touch that you have to make with this one and just have to slowly push the thread onto your nail and that is going to make a deep pattern or just the indentation but one thing I would recommend you is not to go too hard onto your nails because that is going to actually remove the nail polish. I did that and that happened, letting you know what worked and what didn't. I actually saw this idea on Pinterest or Instagram and that's where I saw that they used like the white part that comes in it and I just ended up, you know, adding my own twist to it. You can make the design as big or as small as you want to. I think, in my opinion, it looks better when they are bigger than if they are like super small because if they are super small, you can't even tell what design or what is going on in the nail. I tried that before and it looked kind of messy. And once I have done that, I decided to add the uh, Chanel logo and I'm using my ring finger for this. So I'm just going to work with a toothpick and some gold acrylic paint. And I'm just going to add two C's. Then for this nail, I'm just going to go and seal the design with my matte top coat. So yeah, if you like this idea, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I don't do this every week, but I do nail related videos every once in a while. So if you want to subscribe, just go ahead and do it if you haven't. And share it so more people can watch it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.